What's up everybody? Today's video is going to be kind of a response and follow up to one of my previous videos that I will link right here. That video was about the new MacBook Pro and the port and adapter situation that has been so controversial. There was a lot of good feedback on the video so I want to say thanks to everybody who liked it. I really appreciate it so thanks again and I kind of just want to clarify that the whole point of these videos isn't to be pro Apple or against Apple. It's just kind of to lay out the experience that I've had using the computer and how it compares to some of my past experiences with Apple products. So I'll try to lay it out just kind of in a neutral fashion and let you make your own decision. The first thing I want to talk about, which was mentioned a lot in the comments, is that shortly after I made the video, Apple changed the price of the adapters. Um, they dropped the Thunderbolt adapter from 49 to 29, and they dropped the multi-port adapter from 69 to 49. So although they're still kind of expensive, they did lower the price, I think, in response to a lot of the controversy. So that's a good thing. The second thing I want to mention is one of the most inconvenient things that I've noticed after using the computer for a couple weeks. When you're using the USB-C to multi-port adapter, it has obviously a regular USB 3.0 port, an HDMI port, and then a U another USB-C port. Well, that USB-C port on there can only be used for charging. It can't power a device like an external drive. So you can't have a USB drive and a USB-C drive plugged into the multi-port adapter. So that has really been kind of an inconvenient thing. And here's why. Say you need to use a Thunderbolt drive, so you use your other USB-C port on on the computer to plug in the Thunderbolt adapter. For example, if you need to use an SD card reader, so if you have one USB drive, you're, you're charging the computer, you're using one Thunderbolt drive, well now you're completely out of ports. You can't use then an SD card reader or any other USB device that's it. I've run into that situation multiple times in the last couple of weeks where I've had to try to figure out how to remove one drive or transfer files over to another one in order to be able to free up enough ports for me to plug in then another USB device. It's really been kind of an inconvenient thing. Another thing that has been talked about a lot since the MacBook Pro came out are the third party USB hubs and adapters. So I ordered one of the more common ones on um, Amazon. This one's the Sateki. And it's pretty good. It was $49, I think. And it goes, it takes one USB C port and it allows you to charge it and then have two other USB 3 ports and two memory card slots. It's an okay adapter. It matches the computer well, but when it's plugged in, it's very easy to disconnect if it gets pulled or kind of jostled the wrong way. And then you lose the drives connected to it, which could lead to data loss and I, it just doesn't really feel like a professional style hub that you would really trust if you're doing like serious work with the computer um, but if you just need some extra usb ports and a memory card reader it's not a bad option after using the computer for a couple weeks one thing is abundantly clear and that is if you do any sort of work with external drives or memory cards you're going to need an adapter and you're probably going to need more than one so at that point it's just up to you to decide which brand is best for you so here's my takeaways for the macbook pro after using it for a couple weeks design wise i think it looks great the keyboard is really nice same with the trackpad it has good battery life the specs haven't been an issue. I think like a lot of Apple stuff, it seems to perform better than the specs would indicate that it does. The only big issue with it is that it has only two USB-C ports or Thunderbolt ports. If they all had the four ports, I think this whole thing becomes kind of a non-issue, except for an adapter here and there, but you never would actually run out of ports. So the key takeaway would be, as far as a computer, I think it's a fantastic machine, but if at all possible, you should definitely go with a model that has four ports. And I think if you do that, this whole thing becomes much less of a big deal. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out videos every week. Thanks for watching and see you next time.